Hello, Vadakkam. This is Shrividya Bhira Raghavan. And I welcome you to my Golu at home. Golu means the setup of the dolls, especially of the god and the goddesses. In South India, we celebrate this Navaratri with Golu for nine long days. And on this nine days, the dolls are set up and they are made to sit. We celebrate it as a thanksgiving and also as a socializing event. Nine days of celebration where the god and the goddesses sit as dolls. It's a belief that it was a nine nights and nine days of fearsome battle between the good and the bad. I had a very busy, busy schedule. We had so many visitors and one such visitor was this little young girl. But she was not from India. So she comes in, she was so excited to see all the dolls set up here. She loved the colors, the lights, and she asked, what is it? I told her, oh, it's God and goddesses and all that, but the culture difference. The child could not understand. So immediately I thought of telling her the importance of this Golu in her language. You want to listen to the story of Golu. So do join me because this is going to be in the universal language. Good versus bad. So once far, far from this world, there lived a superwoman. A woman who had the extreme magical powers. She was so powerful, she was so beautiful, she was so bold. At the same time, she was very, very, very good. Once in this world, there emerged a bad man. A man who loved destroying others. A man who loved creating devastations across. So the people in this world were so worried. There was so much suffering. They look for some guidance, they look for a solution. And there, the superwoman from far, far away from this world could hear their prayers, could hear their tears. And she came straight down, flying from far, far above, from the massive universe. She crossed many light years and she reached in this land. The land which had mountains, the green grass, and the blue ocean. The land which was so beautiful, but with the advent of the bad man, the land seemed to be smoking. There was the sounds of tears and devastation. Then the superwoman stood, and she had a weapon in her hand. She had this long rod with three pointed openings. And she called it as Trishu. She came in and she started fighting with the bad man. The bad man, imagine who could create devastation in the world, was also equally seemingly powerful. That he fought the lady, the superwoman, with even more fearsome weapons. He was equally magical. He could bring about any weapons from the air, from here and from there. And he had so many of his slaves who could come for his rescue. And this lady, the superwoman, was all alone fighting with the bad man. The fight continued for nine days and nine nights continuously. The superwoman tried all 
all her vigor, all her power to suppress the bad. But somehow the bad man was gaining more and more energy. The minute he would shed blood, immediately there would emerge many, many more bad men. Oh, the negativity was all around. It was very difficult for the woman to destroy it. And then, and then, she called out for the massive support from the universe. And from the massive support from the universe, all the worlds around in the universe had many, many superwomen and many, many supermen. They all gave away their powers, their energies to the superwoman who was already so powerful with the, with the taking up energy and the power of all other superwomen and ladies and gentlemen from across the universe. She got out to be the most powerful being in this entire universe. So powerful that this bad man could not stand at last. And hence, there came his defeat on the 10th day. That is, on the day of Vijaya Dashini. That is the day Vijaya means winning. That's only on the 10th day of winning. The superwoman with her Shrishula and then her Vahana, she was seated on a lion with a fearful you know, anger to destroy the evil, bad. And all the gods and goddesses, I would say, all the super ladies and gentlemen from across the universe were all seated. They were watching the entire show, just giving them all the energy and the power and the weapons to this lady. And they were all seated like dolls. For the nine days and nine nights, they stood as dogs. Till the victory was theirs. And at the end, all ends in good. Good one over the bad. Every festival has something to teach the mankind. What according to you does Navaratri teach us? If you ask me, I would say being good as a mankind, staying strong with great willpower, being very rich in character and gaining the needed knowledge to destroy the ignorance and the negativity and the badness which we have kept within us or outside. Hope you enjoyed the series. Do share your feedback and yes, don't forget to share your learnings. Thank you.